Imagine a time when the world was just beginning to explore the realms of comic book superheroes and silver screen marvels. It was a time when capes and courage reigned supreme, and the celluloid world was about to welcome its very first taste of a hero who would swoop down from the skies and capture our collective imagination. In 1951, the world met Superman, not as the global icon we know today, but as a black and white beacon of hope in the movie Superman and the Mole Men. For many, that first encounter with this pioneering cinematic spectacle was a moment of pure wonder. The film had us perched on the edge of our seats as we watched George Reeves take flight and battle a world of subterranean creatures who challenged not only his superhuman strength, but our very understanding of what was possible on the silver screen. Do you remember that moment when you first glimpsed the Man of Steel, his red cape billowing in the wind, and the Mole Men emerging from the depths of the earth? Perhaps you were a child, wide-eyed, and captivated, or maybe you stumbled upon this cinematic gem in later years, still enchanted by the simplicity of a bygone era's storytelling. As we delve into some fascinating facts about this iconic movie, let's relive those memories of our first encounter with the superhero who continues to inspire generations, both on and off the screen. So, without further ado, let's take a leap back in time to explore the birth of a legend in Superman and The Mole Men, a film that would pave the way for a cinematic universe we all adore today. The 1951 movie Superman and The Mole Men holds a unique place in cinematic history. This film marked the first feature-length adaptation of characters from DC Comics, making it a significant milestone in the world of comic book movies. Prior to this, DC characters like Batman and Superman had appeared in theatrical serials, but this was the first time a full-length movie was dedicated to a DC superhero. Notably, Superman and the Mole Men featured Jeff Corey in one of the leading roles. It's interesting to mention that this was Corey's final role before he faced being blacklisted by the House Committee on Un-American Activities in 1951. His next on-screen appearance didn't occur until nine years later in the short film Inside Magu in 1960. Another unusual aspect of this film is that it's the only live-action Superman movie where Perry White, The Daily Planet, and Metropolis are absent. Instead, the story focuses on Superman's encounter with a group of small, subterranean creatures known as Mole Men. This shift in setting and focus from the typical Superman narrative sets Superman and the Mole Men apart from other Superman films. In conclusion, Superman and the Mole Men is a pivotal film in the history of comic book adaptations, being the first feature-length movie based on DC Comics characters. It also stands out for its association with Jeff Corey and the absence of iconic elements like Perry White and the Daily Planet. This film remains a significant and intriguing part of the Superman cinematic legacy. In 1951, the movie Superman and the Mole Men marked an important milestone in the world of Superman. Notably, this film was the first of only three live-action theatrical Superman films that didn't feature his arch-nemesis, Lex Luthor. The other two movies with this distinction are Superman 3 in 1983 and Man of Steel in 2013. Furthermore, Superman and the Mole Men was originally created by National Publishing, now known as DC Comics, as a calling card in their effort to bring Superman to television for the first time. Interestingly, its theatrical release was initially planned as a last resort to recoup the production budget if TV networks rejected the project. The film also boasts another unique aspect. At 37 years old, George Reeves was one of the oldest actors to make his live-action debut as Clark Kent, Superman. This made him joint oldest alongside Kirk Allen, who also donned the cape at the same age in the 1948 film Superman. These details shed light on the historical significance of Superman and the Mole Men and the evolution of Superman in the world of cinema and television. It's a testament to how the character has evolved over the years and the innovative approaches taken by the creators to introduce him to new audiences. In conclusion, Superman and the Mole Men stands out as a pivotal moment in Superman's cinematic history, characterized by its unique elements and the effort to bring the iconic character to the small and silver screens. In 1951, the movie Superman and the Mole Men hit the big screen. Over a year later, this film was split into two parts for the TV series Adventures of Superman in 1953. The TV version made some changes, it dropped the original music, and cut out references to the creatures as mole men. It also trimmed a chase scene, 
Kirk Allen, who played Superman in earlier films, was supposed to reprise his role but asked for too much money. Director Lee Sholem revealed that both Phillies Coates and George Reeves got knocked out during fights with stuntmen on the same day. This shows the behind-the-scenes details and challenges of the 1951 Superman and the Mole Men film and its transition to television. It's a piece of Superman history worth knowing. The 1951 movie Superman and the Mole Men holds the distinction of being the shortest Superman film with a runtime of just 58 minutes. This concise feature tells the story of Superman's encounter with subterranean creatures who create havoc when they emerge from the Earth. It's a brief but action-packed adventure that showcases the Man of Steel's heroic deeds. Moreover, Superman and the Mole Men has been included as a special feature on the fourth disc of the Christopher Reeve Superman Collection and the complete Superman Collection DVD sets. This inclusion allows fans of the later Superman films to explore the roots of the iconic superhero in this compact and entertaining piece of cinematic history. In conclusion, Superman and the Mole Men may be short, but it leaves a lasting impression in the world of Superman movies, and its inclusion in these DVD collections ensures that its significance is not forgotten. In 1951, the movie Superman and the Mole Men made a mark in the world of superhero cinema. Clocking in at a mere 58 minutes, it holds the distinction of being the shortest Superman film ever produced. But that's not all. This movie was a trailblazer in its own right. It was the first feature-length film based on DC Comics characters, preceding the superhero wave that would later engulf Hollywood. Before this, characters like Batman and Superman had appeared in shorter theatrical serials, but Superman and the Mole Men marked a new era for comic book adaptations. Interestingly, in this unique Superman flick, you won't find familiar faces like Perry White, The Daily Planet, or the bustling city of Metropolis. It's an isolated adventure that takes Superman to a small town, dealing with a different set of challenges. So, in the world of superhero movies, Superman and the Mole Men stands as a distinctive and pioneering entry with its brevity, its status as a DC Comics milestone, and its departure from the usual Superman settings. These aspects make it a notable piece of cinematic history for fans and film enthusiasts alike. As we bid adieu, I encourage you to take a moment and reflect on your personal connection with the 1951 classic, Superman and the Mole Men. This timeless film has stirred the hearts of many over the years, and it's quite likely that it holds a special place in your cinematic journey as well. Think back to the first time you watched the Man of Steel embarking on an unexpected adventure, confronting the strange world beneath the Earth's surface. Consider the impact it had on you, the emotions it stirred, and the lasting memories it left in its wake. Perhaps you found inspiration in the unwavering determination of Superman, his commitment to protecting even the most unexpected and misunderstood creatures. Maybe you marveled at the film's ability to tackle complex issues such as fear, prejudice, and the importance of empathy in a world often dominated by misunderstandings. Or maybe you simply cherish the film for the nostalgia it brings, transporting you back to a simpler time when heroes wore capes and stood for justice, no matter how strange the circumstances. Whatever your connection to Superman and the Mole Men, we invite you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, and reflections. Let's celebrate this cinematic gem and the enduring legacy it has carved in the hearts of countless fans. Thank you for sharing your time and interest with us. We look forward to reading your unique stories and thoughts about this classic. Until next time, remember, you're a superhero in your own story.